I was in Stockholm in 1998 and I saw this project, large pots created by potters there, a collective of potters, and I thought it was a brilliant idea, um, something that I could recreate with local potters back in my hometown. I'm interested in architecture and I particularly like tall buildings, so uh, this is a typical skyscraper from uh, circa the 1960s and uh, I was just curious to see what it would be like when referenced against what's one of the oldest buildings in the city, St. Columns Cathedral. I wanted to have a pot, a large pot of mine, somewhere in the city for quite a while now. It's inspired by my love of all those old fairy stories like Alice in Wonderland. I wanted to make something that children in particular would enjoy. I love the idea of, of art generally in public spaces and particularly ceramics because it's um, not often that you see ceramics. It's been really good to be part of the project. I think it's an interesting idea, taking the work out of the gallery, putting the pieces around the town. People who don't vi normally visit galleries can, can come along and they can see the work. It's great that it's, it's happening in Derry. Christy would be a really well-known, internationally known ceramic artist. He jumped at the opportunity straight away because he never ha was given the chance before to produce a large piece of work. My own piece is placed down at St. Augustine's Church on the Walls. It is a pattern that was inspired by two of my friends, one called Gavin and one called Deirdre. So the male on it and the female. As a solo artist, you're very isolated. You're in your studio and uh, it's nice to have that engagement with other artists. I like to think that art, if it's of a certain standard, does uh, contribute to civic life generally. Uh, it's another point of interest for visitors to the city.